Have you been asked to do an annotation of an article for an assignment and you're not quite sure about the mechanics of how to do that? Well, I'm Professor Capco and I'm going to show you how easy that is to do in today's video. I'm going to show you just the mechanics of it. This is not about the substance of what is being looked for in, the, in a, any particular assignment. This is just showing you the steps to follow. So if we have an article, say maybe like this one, and uh, I wanted to annotate it, I could do Control A and copy. That would, I mean, that would um, highlight everything. If I do Control A and then do right click and copy, and then I can pull up a blank document in Word. In this section, we're going to now, I've opened Word, and I'm going to right click and paste the article into Word. So I paste the entire article into Word, and we may need to clean it up some, and that's fine. Uh, like up here, for this particular article, we don't need this stuff up here, so you can clean it up, and that way we just have the start of the article at the top of Word. Your your article may not have all that, but this one this one came out with it. So I've got the article here, and the next thing I want to do is I go to review up here on the on the ribbon, and I want to click on track changes. I track changes for everyone, and that way anything that I put on here will be tracked. So in other words, let's say I want to highlight the word Bitcoin, so I can select it and I highlight it, and it will show my name and that I highlighted it. So it'll record all this off to the right. Maybe I want to add some language here. So after the word Bitcoin here, maybe I want to do parentheses BTC, BTC, which is the symbol for Bitcoin, close parentheses, and I've added that in there. And once I've done that, it will show that it has been changed. And if I highlight, if I hover over it, it'll show that I did that change. Maybe you want to take something out. Uh, maybe um, I want to get rid of the word the here. So I can just select it and hit delete. And it puts a line through it. So it shows up in red with a line through it. That is showing you how to do the um, additions and subtractions uh, or highlighting if you want to do those type changes. The other thing that the most important thing would be the comments. That is really what I'm looking for in your various types of um, annotations. If I find a word that needs to be um, that I want to talk about, let's say this word Bitcoin here, I could highlight it and go to new comment and it opens up a little box and I could say Bitcoin was the first cryptocurrency. And I'd likely want to put some sort of citation there, but I'm just showing you how to do this. This is a, an explanation of how to do things, not so much the underlying um, things that are required. It's just the showing you how to do it. So I could put in a comment. I could put in another comment here, um, maybe define USD. So I could select USD, click new comment, and say USD means United States dollar. And then I select the little arrow underneath, and that, again, puts my comments off to the right. I'd want to be saving every step of the way to make sure that uh, it is saved. And we can scroll down, and in an article, I would like to see three to four comments per page. You're going to use the entire article. The plagiarism checker is turned off because you are not plagiarizing doing this because you're not submitting the article as your assignment. You're submitting your comments to the article. So your comments will show up as part of the assignment. So you're adding value to it. Down at the bottom of the article, you're going to do an APA citation. So we would want that centered. So I go back to home and I center and I would probably do bold so I can see it. I type references. 
And in this case, it shows up red because it is a, um, an addition to it. And then you're going to type in here your APA formatted citation for this article. Now, the beginning of the article might show you how to do that, or you might put it into a citation checker like Citation Machine to find out how to cite it. You're going to cite it. And then under that, you're going to do summary, and you're going to type in a few paragraphs here that are a targeted summary of the article. What do I mean by targeted summary? That means that the summary answers the questions in the assignment and it relates to the article. And the article needs to be academic and it needs to be related to your overall topic. So you're gonna put in comments, three or four per page, more the more the better on comments. Maybe highlight some stuff. Uh, make sure you're doing the track changes. Make sure you're putting in the comments. Make sure you have a full APA references section. And then underneath that, you have a summary. That is a targeted summary. You do not need to have a cover page. Save all this as one Word document and upload it into your assignment and make sure you do that before the deadline. If you have any questions, reach out to me. You may want to subscribe to this channel. It's free because I have all kinds of helpful academic things on this channel and there's also some fun stuff as well. So make sure you subscribe and uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this out for now. That's all I have for you today. Thank you.